hello friends welcome to my channel it's been quite a while since i have published my last video that's because i was purely dedicated to learn about the control system of our rc build yes you guessed it right it's an arduino nano yes this is going to be the controlling center for our rc build we will be using nrf24 l1 modules along with this arduino nano to control the vehicle remotely these are one of the cheapest radio communication modules using sbi protocol before starting our build let's have a look at the minor modifications which i have done to this build within this one month span of time the front side and the rear side shocker springs were replaced with a much softer one to reduce the ground clearance. That's because our controlling systems were not in synchronization with the wheel or the axle. So I need to reduce the ground clearance. Just for example, these universal joints. These joints were not at a smooth angle of operation before reducing the ground clearance. The front end steering mounts were not also in alignment with the steering servo now let's encase the steering servo into its dedicated slot which we have already 3d printed into the front end of the axle now this steering servo will be connected to the steering ram attached to the front wheels with the help of a ball joint this is a 3d printed ball joint which is printed in two separate parts then smoothed out into a perfect shape and then joined together the ball inside the ball joint is facilitated with a 1.9 millimeter hole to fix it into the steering ram in the tail end also there is a 2 millimeter bolt piece is connected for further fitting into the servo so here you can see i have already mounted one of these ball joints into the steering ram now we will connect this ball joint into the servo with the help of a steering mount assembly which we are going to do now so these are the parts which we are going to use to assemble the steering control column this is one of the stock mounting ring which I have got along with the servo. Here you can see some tiny teeth are printed on the inner walls of these mounting rings. Same on the servo end also which is very difficult to print using a 3D printer. So I decided to cut down one of these rings and insert it firmly into my steering control column. Here we will pressure fit one of these mounting rings into the control column housing which I have 3D printed. Now we can attach it easily into our servo. We can lock the mounting into the servo using a 2mm screw also. For time being let's remove the mounting from the servo to attach for the fittings in the next step we will be attaching the x-axis rotation arms with the help of a 3d printed bolt now let's move on to the y-axis arm these y-axis arms will help to maintain the position of the servo when the shocker springs work we will be locking the Y axis arm into position with the help of a 2 mm screw. Here you can see the X axis arm will be working when the servo mounts rotate and the Y axis arm will be working when the shocker springs move up and down. Now let's screw the other end of the Y axis arm into the ball joint which we have already attached into the steering arm. Now it's time to attach the other end of the column into the servo head to complete the connection. Here you can see the connection is complete and the, our steering mounting and control system is ready for operation. So 
so here I will show a brief demonstration of how our uh, steering controls work actually now uh, our servo is connected to an Arduino Uno board directly since our NRF module is not programmed completely and not set up I will be controlling the servo directly from a Uno board so let's out let's see how it works I am going to change the angle of the servo to 0 degree and how it changes let's see see that's how our servo is going to work now let's shift the angle to 170 see how our servo responds and the midpoint is not calibrated correctly now it is around 80 so we will be reaching the midpoint approximately 80 degree so this is how our servo will work now it is directly connected to an uno board and further we will be using an nrf module here you can see the brief demonstration of how our servo is respond to a joystick movement when the connection is complete this joystick will be on the transmitter end and the servo will be connected at the receiver end of our transmission system. Codes of these programs are done temporarily for demo purpose only. Hope you all enjoyed watching the working of our steering control column. We will be uploading the complete control system in the next episode. So keep watching, keep tuned. See you in the next episode. Bye bye.